So I think uh, LTL um, and partial truckload uh, shipping has evolved um, in a lot of different ways. Uh, I think you know the first thing that comes to mind is is uh, just the the increase in, in technology investment. Um, on, on one hand, I think LTL um, was sort of ahead of of, of the truckload space uh, in adopting EDI technology. You know, a big thing is is starting to automate the LTL. You know, previously you get an order from sales, then then the transportation has to build that order, then quote it, and then tender it to the carrier. You know, what low smart we're trying to do is we're trying to automate all that process where that, that sales order goes in, gets auto tendered, auto rated, and auto sh shot to the carrier. So there's not a lot of manual work. And so that that's bringing more time to your your employees, so they're not they can do other things that are that have much more value to your company. On the technology front, you're seeing in recent years more and more carriers adopt uh, technology solutions that that help drive their pricing decisions. And so what I mean by that is you know they're they're leveraging predictive analytics, um, you know, to help you know drive inefficiencies within their network. And then they're they're dynamically adjusting their their pricing to attract freight within their network. And so I think that it, you know will continue to be a prevalent you know topic of of of, of conversation uh, for for carriers as as we move forward. You know, we're a couple of things we're doing differently is that you know we're also we're giving LTL mode options. We're we're giving uh, from a class based price, a space based price, and some dynamic pricing all in a single flow. That's something that LowSmart is doing much differently than other providers. We're also allowing shippers to, to keep those direct carrier relationships when they have them, and then and be able to provide the technology for on our digital broker side at the same time. Most three PLs, they give you can only have one or the other, right? You can have your direct carrier relationships, or you can have our broker relationships. So one of the areas that we found to be beneficial uh, in strengthening our carrier partnership is is we'll, we'll actually bring a small number of our sellers out to, to carrier terminals to do tours. And I think it's really beneficial uh, for a lot of reasons, but uh, for one, for our sales teams, you know, they're sitting in an office all day long, they're on the phone, uh, they're not seeing the freight actually move and, and, and nothing can really replicate a truck bumping up against a, a dock, watching the forklifts zip around the terminals. And so I think that really helps uh, strengthen the relationship that we have with, with our carrier partners. And I know that they look forward to those types of events as well. Oh, uh, you know, when you're considering Lowsmart for your LTL, you know, since Lowsmart is a digital transportation provider, we really are trying to add all modes of transportation in a single platform that's simple to use, where you can utilize both Lowsmart and your direct carrier relationships in a, in a single platform. I, re I would recommend shipping LTL and PTL with Lowsmart to customers that are looking to reduce their spend, um, look at different mode options, and also have the ability to track all their shipments all on a single platform and be able to choose between what service levels and what modes are best for their business.